Take the Rake was born out of a roundtable discussion. Jess Goucher actually raised her hand and bravely asked the question, why are there not more women on Park Crew? I'm tired of being the only woman out there. Um, and it spurred from that simple question and Take the Rake was born. Over the course of these last few days, the women have brought their ideas to the table in a way that they've never been able to before. We allowed everyone to draw a design, come together as a group, go around one by one, talking about what they want to see in a park and how they would build something. For a lot of these women, they've never even been a part of a full top to bottom build, never been given a chance to have a voice at those discussions. Or slide it perpendicular to the hill or hit it straight on. Or you can hit it from the side and do a little thing and come down this way and hit it. Or you can go up and over and across and hit this feature. It would be cool to shift and redirect rails. A wall that you could go over and then into like a mellow feature right there. I thought that that would be pretty sick. Um, so how far over slash down do we want to do that? Because that's, that's kind of encroaching on second tier here. It was really amazing to see this process come together because none of us had ever done it before. There's literally never been a room full of women designing a park in the way that we saw this week. And it was, for lack of a better word, beautiful. It truly is a collaboration of so many different types of women. Some of these women have been in this industry for 10 years and some are just starting out. And it was a really important thing to have that um, variety in the park crew. We wanted this to also be a learning opportunity for some of the young guns that are so hungry and haven't been given an opportunity to use their voice. Take the Rake is so momentous because it is the first time that a train park has been built entirely by women. Everyone on this crew has come to Trollhagen from different areas of Canada and the US and is working together for the very first time. This is so exciting because in the resort operations world, they're like the rest of the snowboarding industry, but particularly in operations, there are far fewer women than there are men. And for all of these 11 women to come together, to come to Dresser, Wisconsin, and be at Trollhagen, which is a place that is renowned for its park and has such a important place in snowboarding already for its terrain parks, this is a really big deal. The goal of Take the Rake is to inspire more women to join in on the operations side of ski area management. We need more women in offices and down in the shop and in the park crew so that our industry can better represent all of the people within it. I hope that Take the Rake blossoms into uh, more events around the country or maybe even not an event that it just becomes commonplace to have women in the room when uh, parks are being designed.
This event would not be possible without the supporters that came in on the ground floor. Piston Bully, Techno Alpin, Arena Snow Parks, Liquid Death, Effective Edge, and Level Up Academy, and most importantly, Trollhagen. We are so grateful to this little skiria in the middle of nowhere that believes in the power of women and using their voices within the ski and snowboard industry. One, two, three! Go! 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 Go!